In this problem five, uh, you're looking to construct an angle that has uh, sides that are the same length as BC and CD, but the angle measure is twice the original angle C. So what we're going to do uh, to begin on this is we'll start with our duplicated side. Okay, and we can identify that our new point C, we'll call it again C2, uh, is here. And we want to measure, we want to create an angle that's twice this length. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to place our compass tip on the original vertex of our angle, construct an arc that passes through that angle on both sides, and we're going to duplicate that arc in our construction. And again, because we're looking to double this, uh, exaggerate uh, how far, at least make it go uh, close to a semicircle in measure. And then from each of the arc side intersections on our original angle, where the arc and the side intersect each other, what we're going to do is we're going to measure that distance with our compass and then we're going to duplicate that on our construction. So if we duplic duplicate it here once and if we place our compass tip on the mark that we just made, we can duplicate it a second time. And so what that means is if I were to uh, connect this point back to the vertex, this angle now is twice the measure of the original angle C. So the last thing that I need to do here is measure the sides that are exactly the same. So if I measure my original length BC, so I set my compass tip to the distance BC and I mark that off on my construction. So this is going to be my point B2. And then do the same thing with length CD. If I measure the distance from C to D using my compass and then mark that off on my construction. This is going to be the location of the new point D2. And so now if I just darken in the actual angle itself, I now have an angle from D2 to C2 to B2 that is uh, the same original length and the angle measure is twice the original angle.